Okay, now I'm going to have a go at a 5k exercise on Code Wars. Uh, I want to get a promotion. I'm still just a 7k and I think lower is a higher rank. So I'll have a go at 5k. Pick peaks. In this cat are your right function that returns the positions and the values of peaks or local maxima of a numeric array. For example, the array 0, 1, 2, 5, 1 has a peak at position 3 with a value of 5. And I think it's a peak because the value before and the value after is lower than it. The output will be returned as a map string list with two key value pairs, pos and peaks. If there is no peak in the given array, simply return pos empty and peaks empty. Okay, so the string part of the map is actual pos and peaks, and the list is 3, 7, and 6, 3. Okay, so 3 is height of 6. And four, five, six, and seven is height of three, and those are the two peaks because those are the only numbers where the number before and the number after is lower. All input arrays will be valid integer arrays, although it could still be empty, so you won't need to validate the input. The first and last elements of the array will not be considered as peaks. We don't know what's before and after it. Also beware of plateaus. One, two, 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 one has a peak, does it? Well, one, two, 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 three, and one, two, 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 two do not. In the case of the plateau peak, please only return the position and value at the beginning of the plateau. Okay, that's a bit of a complication. Um, so in this case, position one peaks to two. Okay, so let's have a go at that. Okay, so I'll just put a couple of tests in there. Uh, this is the one that we want to see. Uh, 3, 7 and 6, 3. So just comment that there. Um, this is the plateau that doesn't go back down and this is the normal plateau. So um, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to make two lists that we can gradually increase. Uh, so, list of integers, and these. This is the pos list, and I'm going to make a peaks list. Now. The plateau thing is a bit of a complication. Uh, so I think if we step up, I'm gonna remember the current pause and the current peak, the current level that we're at. If we step down, I'm then going to take those current levels and put them in the pause and peaks list. If we step across, in other words, if we go across a plateau, then I'm going to do nothing. So, so that we can get the pause, I'm going to say, going to loop through in the old way with for i equals zero i is less than array length 
I++, so I is the index. Um, we are indexing from zero in the pause answer. So we know, oh, I can go from one. So if array at i minus one is less than array at i, then we're stepping up. So I'm going to make an int current pause and int current peak. If we step up, current pause equals i and current peak equals the array at i. If we step down, so I'm just going to reverse and say if the previous value was higher than this, then um, I'm going to initialize current pause to minus one. If we step down and current pause is not equal to minus one, then pause array add the current index and peak array not, not the current index current pause and the peak array add current peak Uh, I could put an else in there just to save a bit of time not to look at that if that was true and if we step across we do nothing so I don't need to say anything for that and then at the end I need to make a map result and result needs to have pause and then the pause list and peaks and then the peaks list and that's our answer. So I'm just going to debug because uh, I don't want to write a method to output these this hash map. So what's wrong with this? Um, I just need to import hash map and array list. Uh, it's complaining there that that may not have been initialized. I just set it to minus one like I did. Can't pause. Okay, so that's my solution. So let's have a look at what we get in debug. Uh, I just need to assign it to a variable I'll just put a two string in just so we can pause on that line oh I can't do a two string because I don't have a method uh, I don't have an object a one two string that I've just put that in just to put a breakpoint uh, because we don't have no op in Java. So A1 pause equals 3377 because we stepped down twice. Okay, so, so I'm glad I debugged this. I need to, when I save it, I need to set it back to 
minus one a2 pos and peaks are empty which is right and a3 pos is one peaks is two which is right uh, so I, if I do save this I'm going to put current pos back to minus one so that we don't save it again if we step down again and now we have 3763 which is what we wanted and A2 still works, A3 still works so that's my solution and that's what I'm going to submit Okay, I passed all the tests and I'll submit that and see what other people have come up with. Um, Yet yeah, this looks to be the same. Um, they're using a Boolean instead of the minus one, but they're looking at if it, if it goes, if it steps up, if it steps down. And that, so that's very similar solution to mine. Uh, what's this doing? Again, we've got a step up and an increase. It's the same again. Uh, here we've got. This is a bit different, but it's. Uh, maybe it's a clever solution, but it's not quite as concise. Again, it looks like we've got a step up and a step down and the minus one. So yeah, so a lot of people doing exactly the same thing on this one, uh, but there are obviously different ways of writing it. And yeah, okay, so that's my solution to Code Wars pick peaks. Thanks for watching.